What's going on YouTube? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys more ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Before this video starts, you guys know the deal. Show some support by smashing that like button, clicking that subscribe button, and letting me know in the comment section down below. Seriously, the support has been amazing. We just passed 700 subs. Let's go. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel, liked the videos, or just tuned in and checked them out. So guys, in today's video, we're rocking out with this Cursula team. I'm actually hyped to use this because everyone's always using the first stage with the Evo Light. But this team has a Choice Specs Cursula over here that we're going to be rocking out with. Rocking in that front spot, we got that Indeedy, which is vital to this double team right here with Psychic Seeds and Psychic Surge as its ability. With Helping Hand, follow me, Psychic and Mystical Fire. It actually... It rocks out with that Hatterene right to the right of it with that Trick Room with the Magic Bounce and that Life Orb. I love Magic Bounce. I really do love Magic Bounce. Like, people think they're going to get, like, poison on me. I'm like, nah, you can have it. I just throw, like, the Reverse Uno card down on them. Like, see you later, Punk. This thing's rocking Dazzling Gleam. Psy Shock Protect and that Trick Room. That's why it works so good with that Indeedee. Then we got this Mimikyu right over here as our physical attacker. Such a good Pokemon. Definitely a top tier Pokemon in the ranked battles for this game. Rocking Shadow Sneak, Shadow Claw, Play Rough, and Sword Stance to set up with that Lumberry. So it can actually get out of any like sleeps and all that. I believe that's what that berry does. The Lumberry heals it from sleeps, like poisons and all that good stuff. Then we got Toad Kiss, and I love this Toad Kiss set. I love the leftovers on it. And I just love this move set with it. It has Air Slash for flinches, Nasty Plot, Fire Blast. And life do. I really love the nasty plot setups with the toe kiss. Then we got my boy Cursula right here. Cursula, I'm hyped to use it with that choice specs with Parish Body, with Scald Shadow Ball for Sab, Ice Beam, and Earth Power. It has so much coverage, and we have that choice specs that just boosts his damage through the roof. Then we got my boy Titar, Weakness Policy Titar, who has been running in Season 2. Definitely such a strong Pokemon with Sandstorm to set up, Sandstorm, and all that good stuff. With Dragon Dance to set up, Stone Edge. Crunch and high horsepower do some work. But guys, if you'd like to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. Definitely use it up. Let me know in the comment section down below how you guys do with it. Also, let me know for a question of the day. What is your favorite item in Pokemon? As there are just like so many items that you gotta have a favorite. For me, I really love like the choice scarf. I really do like the choice scarf because like people think we're gonna they're gonna outspeed me. I'm just like, nah, I got the choice scarf on, we're gonna run you and all that good stuff. But I'm actually really hyped to use this team with this Cursler right here. I don't know why. I just don't know why. I just think it's like I haven't used it before, and I'm just hyped for it. So let's get into these battles and get some wins. So this guy's team is like all special attacking right here. He was just special attacked out. He's rocking the Gardevoir and Dracofish. Grimmsnarl, Dragapult. That Dragapult could be physical attacking. He has the Indeedee and the Alcreme. And the Alcreme here. I can see him leading that Grimmsnarl and that Indeedee. I can totally see that. I think he thinks I'm going to go for that Trick Room setup. I say we... Neglect that Hatterene. I say Hatterene, you get out of here. And we go Indeedy into Kiss here. And then we bring Titar and Cursula in the back. I think that is the play call. Let me check it out one more time. Yeah, we can do some work against this team. We can really do some work. Only thing I'm kind of worried about is going to be that fish. I am going to be worried about that fish. But if I can get that fish out the way, we can be chilling. Let's rock out here. Let's rock out. Because if he leads that fish, I, th I think I'm going to go follow me Nasty Plot into Max Airstreams to try to get that speed out the way. And just keep rolling out from there. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, make sure you head in the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. If I'm live, come hang out. If not, hit that follow button. Swing by later. Who's going to lead? The Alcreme and the Fish. Okay, he does lead the Fish. Follow me. He's going to pop here. He might decorate. He might do a little decorate over on that Fish. But we are going to go set up a plot. The Psychic Surge does come out here. And which is nice is we are rocking the Psychic Seeds. I think it boosts our special defense. Is that... Is that correct or a special attack? What's it do? What's it do? It boosts our... What is it? Our special defense, which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. What is it? Is that plus one or plus two? I think it's plus two. Or plus one. My fault. My fault. It's plus one. We are going to go into the follow me. And we are going to set up the plot. That is nasty. Nasty in this plot up. Let's go. I still have a life do also. I don't see him dynamaxing. Maybe? Maybe. I think he's going to go decorate in the fish's rend. That's really what I think he's going to do. Yo, follow me pops out. Let's go get over here, little boys. Get over here. Nasty plot. Yayi, he does his little... I love that. I love that animation, just how he does it. I don't know. It's so funny. It's so funny. But here he goes. Ice Fang coming over on my MDD. We eat that up. Don't you dare show me that freeze. Okay, we're chilling. And the Decorate does come out here. The Decorate does come out here. And that is going to boost our... Boost our attack and our special attack. Um. Thank you? Did you use it on the wrong person? <laughs> Did you use it on the wrong person? You might have. We're going to go into yet another follow me. And now we are going to Dynamax. We are going to Dynamax and go into a Max Airstream over on this fish. Try to get it out the way. I really don't want a fish just rending on, on me. 
Then we go to Dynamax. Get this Tokus out here. We can get rolling. I cannot wait to use that Cursula. But guys, the coolest part about Cursula is its design. It is white coral, and coral only gets like that white when it's polluted. Like I read this online or something, and this is why they did it. They want to like help raise awareness for pollution in waters and in the air and all that. So they make Cursula and Corsula white coral, so that's how it looks when it gets polluted. And same thing with the wheezing. They made it smokestacks to like show pollution and all that. I think that is a very cool touch on the Pokemon end. Let's go. Max Airstream is going to pop out here. Oh, we do outspeed in general, but we'll get the next speed. And ooh, -wee, we take out that fish in one hit. We're rocking out here early on. Early on. I feel like he thought I was going to go for maybe that trickling team and maybe just fishes rend something. Maybe my hat arena or something, but we're chilling. We're chilling. That's why I kind of threw him a little curveball. I was like, yo, what you want, fool? He's going to go for a mystical fire. We should be able to eat this up with a special defense boost. Yes, sir. And DD is sitting pretty. Let's go. Special attack does fall. I don't really care. You're just sitting here helping us out. We boost our speed once again. We could boost our speed once again. We could get the drought going. We could do multiple different things. But we are stabbed with the with the max airstream. I'm on max airstream this guard room. I am going to max airstream this guard room. She is going to trace the serene grace, which is fine by me. I really don't care. Uh, we go into the psychic. Mm, we go into the fire. I said we go into the fire here. And then we just go into yet another max air stream. I know we're going to outspeed, but we're going to boost our speed once again, just in case he's rocking maybe that dragon pole or something later. Let's go. Max air stream pops off here. Show me that speed boost. Show me how much damage we're going to do. Ooh, that plot setup. That plot setup is nasty. It's nasty. That's why it's called nasty plot. That's why it's called nasty plot because it is so gross. Um, What is this guy going to go into? What are you going to do? I'm confused. You're down to three Pokemon. He still has his Dynamax I gotta worry about. Let's go fire our yeah, Yacht. And we have Perish Body on our What's It Gone too, which is awesome. We have Perish Body on our Corsola, or Cursula. Keep getting those two mixed up. We need Airstream to get burned. We're going to lower our special attack. That's fine. And our weakness, oh no, not our weakness policy. Our leftovers trigger. I was going to say our weakness policy triggers, but our weakness policy is on our T-Tar. Our leftovers come out, which is fine. Do I take out that Alcrimi? Do I take out that Alcrimi? No, that, I'm not worried about that now, Kermit. It's doing nothing to me. It's doing nothing to me. I'm going to focus on this next Pokemon, who is the Dragon Bolt. It is the Dragon Bolt. He is going to Dynamax here, and I'm pretty sure we're uh, we're just dominating here. Watch this. Helping hand. Should outspeed. We're going to yet another Max Hair stream. And is that going to be the game? If he Max Guards, that would be the smart call. That would be a smart call right here to go into the Max Guard. Because like I said, I'm not worried about that now, Kermit. Ooh, we do we rocking out. We are rocking out here. Let's go. Show me that W. Show me that W. I can see his dude canceling, but I know he's gonna Dynamax that Zrega Pole. But I'm a little confused to why he decorated my Indeedee. Like, are you supposed to decorate the your ally Pokemon? And it boosts their attack and all that. But <laughs> I have no idea. He just boosts ours. I was like, um, thanks a lot, man. I'll take that any day of the week. Let's see, we should outspeed. Helping hand comes out. Here we go. No, he's not Max Garden, which is nice to see. He is Max Garden. Dang it, dude. I thought since the helping hand came out first that he wasn't. But smart play by him to go into the Max Guard. We should have thrown him a little curveball. We should have thrown him a little curveball. Let's go. Fire comes out on my Indeedee. We eat that up all day. We eat that up all day. We still have a Cursula in the back. I'm going to go into my Cursula after this. Because if he takes out my, uh, say, my Indeedee or something, if he takes us out, then I can go into my Cursula, let that thing fall. And if that thing does fall, it will go into this uh, Perish body. And in three turns, the next Pokemon, whoever killed it, would be dead. So that's pretty nice. That is actually pretty, pretty nice. Um, we go into the follow me. Yeah, we're going to go into the follow me here. And uh, do we try plotting again? We can't plot again. We are going to plot again. We are going to plot again. Reason I am plotting again is because that Alcreme will not take out my uh Well that Alcreme is gonna do a little bit of damage on my Toad Kiss, but the Dragon Pult will take out the uh the Indeedee. So I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried. He's probably going for a mystical fire on me to lower my special attack once again. Or he might go for a decorate. He's not going for a decorate. Max Airstream pops off on my Indeedee. Say bye bye to the Indeedee. It is gone. Bring out the Cursla. Bring it out. Love to see. Speed is racing for that team, which is gonna be a little bit tougher, a little bit tougher. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just bring it out. I'm just bring out that Cursula. Going to decorate. There he goes. Now he's using it right. Now he's using it right. <laughs> attack raises and it's a special attack raises. It's gonna be a little bit tougher. It's gonna be a little bit tougher here. We have our, I think we're plus three on that attack board. So we gotta get that Dragon Pole out the way. We really do have to get that Dragon Pole out the way. So that's why we're gonna go into that Cursula and then we can have 
my boy T-Tar in the back end to kind of like finish things up if we really need him. But I think we should be fine with this choice specs right here. They're going to go into a Shadow Ball over onto it just in case he doesn't take us out. If he doesn't take us out, we're going to do some nice little choice spec Shadow Ball damage over here. Right? Choice spec Shadow Ball. Yes, sir. Over on that Dragon Ball. And then we are out speeding. I don't want to go into a life dude because he might just one tap. He's probably going to one tap my... Uh, He's probably going to one tap us. I have a curse law, so there's no point in going into a life dude. We're just going to go into that air slash. Double up on that dragon pole. No way he goes to a max guard. No way. Let's see. Max Phantasm over on my curse law. Oh, on my kiss. On my kiss. Wow. You hunk of junk. Wow. That's not what I was expecting. Our defense is going to fall here, and our kiss goes. Our kiss does go. I'm surprised we don't want out speed. I guess it's because he got that uh, plus one speed. That's fine. So, there you go. The flare comes out. We eat that up all day. Our special attack is going to fall, but this Shadow Ball stab should still do a decent amount with the choice specs. Look at that damage. You love to see it. You love to see it. Our T-Tar is going to pop out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. This thing is boosted. This thing is boosted. That is pretty nuts. That is pretty nuts. This thing is boosted through the roof now. Okay, okay. Get my T-Tar up in here. Get my T-Tar up in here. How is this thing going to roll? I'm gonna take out my curse law. We are gonna double up on that. We are gonna double up on the what's it called? On the dragon pole. The sandstorm is gonna pop out here. Ooh, this is close. This is a close one, guys. There goes his Dinah. Dinah is gone. So I could potentially see him going. Oh, I can see him going into a Phantom Force. Um. Hmm. I could totally see him going into a Phantom Force. That's the thing. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say he goes to that Phantom Force. Does he go into it? That that is tough. That is tough. I say he goes into it, and we're gonna go into this uh, Stone Edge over here. I I think he's gonna go into that Phantom Force. Yes. Okay. Phantom Force does pop off. That's fine. That's fine. That's why I went to the Stone Edge on the right side. Cool, cool, cool. Granny Kiss comes out. Super effective. Weakness policy is going to pop here. And we might be able to take out this uh, Alcreme in one shot. That would be lovely. That would be lovely. You would love to see it. You would love to see it. And hopefully he does not take out my curse law here in one shot. That would be tough. Stone Edge pops off. How much damage are we going to do? Take him out. Take him out. Weakness policy T-Tar comes up huge. That it could potentially be game. We're going to double up over on this uh, this Dragon Bolt here. So whoever he comes after, he's probably going after my uh, curse law. That's fine. Then my weakness policy T-Tar comes over with a crunch. And we'll be able to punk it up. So good call by me to actually basically seal that match. Kind of just seal that match right there for us. That we uh, were able to read that he was going to go into a Phantom Force. Instead of just punking out and missing both attacks. Ursula does go down. And the Parish Body would roll out here. Which is fine. But the Crunch will take it out. And actually win us this game. Let's go. Let's go. You'd love to see it. That Ursula did some work actually with that Shadow Ball. Did a good amount of damage with it. But this T-Tar definitely came up clutch in that end. And, made, and me making those recalls. Let's go. We get that crit just to rub it in his face. A little bit of salt on the wound. you love to see it, guys. That's how it's done. Let's rock out. We just rocked out there, but it's time for us to hop into another battle and show off this team once again. Okay, I see what this guy's doing. This guy could be rocking a Jelly Scent Trick Room team. I'm not 100% sure. I think I'm still going to bring in my Trick Room squad. I think we're going to go in DD, Hatterene in the front spot. Definitely bring that Cursula in that back end. Cursula can do some work with that choice Speckies. With the Speckies. And then who is going to be my final Pokemon? We go T-Tar? I think T-Tar's call. So we go Ndidi Hatarin into um, Kursala and T-Tar. So we have our special attackers and we need a, we have our big physical attacker in our T-Tar. Let's roll out with this squad. Let's roll out. I see him leading maybe either that Toe Kiss Jelly Scent or that Rillaboom Jelly Scent. That's what I think he's going to go after. But that's kind of really predictable, so he might kind of go after something else. But we're going with the predictable call. We're going with our Trick Room squad. We're rolling at it. We're going for it. Let's see. What you want, fool? Kind of scared that the round on. The round on is the reason I did not bring in that kiss. I think would have one tap the kiss with a max seal spike. Here goes the jelly scent and the round on. Okay, okay, jelly scent the round on pops out. Our Hatterene pops out here. Uh, I gotta get this. Oh, this these guys might be a trick room squad. These guys might be a trick room squad. I kind of want to swap into my Cursula. I kind of want to swap into my Cursula. Get that Parish body rolling. And have him set up the trick room. We're gonna go fight here. We go psychic. 
onto the jelly scent. Good, or we can go mystical fire. Lower this thing special attack. We're gonna go for that. And I think I'm gonna swap out here. I think I'm gonna swap to this Kursla. Because I think he's gonna Dynamax go into that max steal. Hmm. Then I think he's gonna roll Trick Room. Let's see. Let's go. Kursla's gonna pop out here. I'm gonna save my head ring in the back. Hopefully he rolls that Trick Room. Hopefully he rolls that Trick Room. Because once he gets that Trick Room off, then we can go back into our head ring. It will be the best Pokemon on the field. Let's see. Flash Cannon pops out here. He's gonna go for that Flash Cannon over on where my Hatterene was. Critten, are you serious, man? Get out of my face. He is Life Orb. He is Life Orb. Which is fine. Mystical Fire pops out here. We're going to lower his special attack. Yeah. Do a little bit of damage to him. Lower it. There you go. Beautiful. Is this Jelly Scent going to go for that Trick Room? I would love to see it. Yes. Okay. Cool, cool. So we made the right call. We didn't make the right call by bringing in this. We should be able to outspeed that Thrall on now. And so I'm thinking of maybe going for a... I think we're going to double up on that Thrall on. Make sure that thing goes out. Shadow Ball can come over the top here. Over to that Duraldon. I really want that Duraldon out of here. I'm not too worried about the Jelly Scent too, too much. Shadow Ball comes out. Cursula is the slowest Pokemon on that field. Show me that kill. Show it to me. Take him out. Let's go. Let's go, Cursula. I love you. I love you. We get that Duraldon out the way. Mystical Fire pops out here. If he takes out my Cursula, then we go into that Hatterene. Hatterene will be slower than that Cursula, and we will go first. We will lower his special attack, which is what I wanted. He's going to trigger the Trick Room once again. Take it away. He's going to take it away, which is kind of smart. Kind of smart. Yeah, wasted two turns on him. Now he's going to come in here, take out my Cursula, and the Perish Body is going to come come into effect. Go into the Corviknight. Go ahead, Perish Body, my Corviknight. Go Perish Body. Uh, we're going to go into Mystical Fire over on you. And we're just going to Shadow Ball up on this. Uh, we're going to Shadow Ball up on this uh, Corviknight. I'm going to double up into it. I can see a Dynamax and maybe a G-Max Corvo. I can totally see it. I can totally see it. But I want him to take out my, uh... I want him to take out my Cursula. Do a little bit of special attack. I don't really care about the drop here. Mirror Armor's gonna pop out here. That's fine by me. That's fine, I'm not too worried. Cursula, get it. Get rolling, Cursula. Is he weakness policy? Whoa. Last Pokemon I want to see weakness policy. Go after the, uh, Curse. Go after the Curse. Come on. Come on, baby. Show me that Perish Body. I think he's gonna go down a little bit. He's gonna go down in just a little bit. So he will not Dynamax that thing. We are chilling. Perish Body is going to come out here. Which is awesome. Which is awesome. Jelly Sense is going to go for the Skull. And since the Trick Room's not rolling, I'm going to roll into my Dynamax T-Tar. I'm going to roll into my Dynamax T-Tar here. Dynamax and potentially go into a Follow Me. Max Rockfall. But that, I'm not worried about that. Corp Knight. Perish Body is on it. It is on it. Exactly what I wanted to do with that Cursla. We went in there, took out that Duraludon, saved our Hatterene for that back end. And we perish body to Pokemon. Actually, a big Pokemon. That was nice. Uh, we go for a follow me here. Uh, no, we're not gonna go for a follow me considering that that what's it called? That we want that Jelly Scent to hit our T Tar. We want that Jelly Scent to hit our T Tar. Is Max Darkness super effective to the Jelly Scent? Yes, sir. And it's sad. And it's sad. We're gonna Dynamax. Yeah, we want that Jelly Scent to kind of scald onto our T Tar, trigger our own weakness policy. Then we're gonna be chilling. Who are you Dynamaxing? Who are you Dynamaxing? The Corvo? He's gonna Dynamax the Corvo. Is that G-Max? No, I don't think that's a G-Max Corvo. But that's fine by me. That's fine by me. He might have a Max Knuckle. He might have a Max Knuckle. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe with a Body Press or something. Let's see. Our, we're gonna come out here. Maybe we should have went for the Follow Me. If we do survive a hit, we are gonna go for that Follow Me. But I think this is like his last ditch after kind of to go into that Corvo Knight and try to get my T-Tar out the way. Let's go, T-Tar. In that sandstorm, baby. You love to see it. You love to see it. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, baby. I want this one. 412 HP. That is a tanky little boy. That's a tanky boy. Tucky's going to pop out here. Yeah, yeet. Doubling up on this jelly scent. And now this Max Steel Spike's going to pop out here. You should be able to... Oh, going after my DD. That's fine by me. Can we eat that? Woohoo! I love you. I love you. Go ahead. Boost your defense. You are Perish. We have the Perish body on you. Should fall in two turns now. He's going to boost his defense. And the Max Darkness is going to do work up against this Jelly Scent. Yes, sir. See you later, Jelly Scent. Now we're going to go into the Follow Me so they don't hit my t -tar. We don't really want to hit my t -tar, kind of. Mirror Armor is going to pop out here. And our special defense is going to fall. So hopefully he's not rocking a special attacker. Does that, that Perish Body should still work. Even if he's Dynamax. It should not be able to cancel him out. That'd be whack. That'd be whack sauce. But right, yeah, Perish Count is going to fall down here. Hatterene has Protect. I'm going to roll into a Protect here with my Hatterene. I know you're coming after me. 
I know you are coming after me. Dude, I know you're coming after my Hatterene. Our Arcanine's gonna pop out here. Uh, we're just gonna go after that Arcanine. And we're gonna go into a Protect. Try to eat up a shot. Just get that Perish count to fall down even more. That's exactly what we want. So Protect. We're not even gonna go for that Trick Room because he would take us out for a shot. And Max Rockfall is gonna pop out on this Arcanine. Max Rockfall! Let's go. What's gonna happen here? Protect! Protecting! He's probably gonna go for that Steel Spike on us. That's what I think is going to happen. The will o -Wisp coming out on my T-Tar. On my T-Tar. So all we need is that Arcanine to go down and us to survive. Maybe one more turn. Here goes the Max Steel Spike on my Hatterene. Shout out to my Hatterene. Eat up, Hat. Love you. I love you, Hatterene. There we go. Waste another turn. His Parish Count is going to fall down here. And then we're going to do some work with this Max Rockfall. Defense is going to raise. He can probably eat up now. You can see him potentially eating up here. Now we're going to go into Max Rockfall. Yay. Last turn for his Corviknight. Can we take this thing out? No, we do not take this thing out. He puts a burn on us. That's some mean defensive buffs here. Buff is going to pop out. And I'm going to go into... What am I going to go into with the Hatterene? The burn's going to come out here, which is a little tough. Which is a little tougher for us. Parish count fell to one. Fell to one. It is coming down to the wire here. It's coming down to the wire. The Psychic Surge goes away. I think the Psy Shock's going to come out here. What's the Psy Shock do? It, uh... It does physical damage, okay. It does physical damage. I think it's defensive. I'd rather go for a Dazzling Gleam, but not very effective on both. I'm going to try rolling this Trick Room before we go out. Uh, we could raise our Special Defense, but that doesn't really do anything. I think Max Rockfall is just the play call here. I think it really is the play call over on this Arcanine. Yo, we got to just start teeing off on this Arcanine. I thought it was going to pop off here. We're going to eat that up, no problem. All right, we just went for the Trick Room just in case. Is he going to take out my hats? He is going to take out my hats, which is fine. We can say bye-bye to the Corviknight. It's going to come down to a 1v1 battle here. Bye bye, Corviknight. Kursla comes up from the dead to do some work. He's gonna boost his defense one more time before he goes out. Just rather smart. Rather smart. Max Rockfall is gonna come out here. Right, that should be the end of Corvo. That should be the end of the Corviknight. Oh my god, this defense is coming up. This defense is coming up. Up it's by Storm. Luckily, we do have that Sandstorm out to do a little bit of chip damage away. Time to counteract with that burn. That Corviknight's perish fell to zero. Woo hoo hoo! Let's go, let's go. But that was actually smart for him to actually Dynamax to kind of get that boosted stats. Which is actually helping him out a ton. It is helping him out a ton. Our T-Tar's Dynamax goes away. And I don't know what he's going to do here. I don't think he really has too much to kind of counteract us. High horsepower or Stone Edge. We're going to go for a Stone Edge. The reason we are going for a Stone Edge is because it has a chance of landing a critical more easily. We're going to go for a Flamethrower. We eat these up all day. We eat these up all day. And boy... That, that curse look comes up huge. That perish body. Smart play by me. Can we get a crit or something? Buffett's going to pop up. Buffett's going to be the clutch here. Going to be the clutch here. I think we need one more turn to pop up. <laughs> Hold on. Hold the phone. I pop a berry. Comes up big. Comes up big. Show me the Buffett's. How many more turns do we have in the Buffett's? Let's see. Do I D-Dance here? I don't want to D-Dance. I mean, D-Dance could be good. I want. I think it's better off for me to just go for these crit chances. This is, the crits do land easily. Let's see, flamethrower pops out here. <laughs> it's coming down. It is coming down. Win or lose, we play this match very, very well. We play this match very, very well. Stone just pops out. Show me the crit. No crit. Come on, I want that crit, baby. Sandstorm does upside, which is big on his part. Big on his part. Burns chipping us away. Okay, okay. It, it, it's coming down. It is coming down. We got to land these. We got to get a crit off, I think. I'm not too sure. It's, it's coming close. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, did he just get a crit? No, I thought he just got a crit. Show us a crit. Show me the crit. Oh, my God. Oh, no. I think we need a crit here. I think we need a crit here. I think we do need a crit here. Oh no, it is coming down. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's see what happens here. Flamethrower? I think we need a crit here. We need a crit. Come on, T-Tar. Do it. Do him dirty. No! GG, baby. That was such a good game. That was honestly one of the best games I played. One of the best, like, all-around games I have played. Like, closest matches. That was a very, very good game. Like, just everything we did in it was close. The cursor came up big, but we ended up losing that match in the end.
Honestly, guys, that match was crazy. That match could have went either way. Came down to the wire. Last chance. If we would have landed a crit, it could have been different. I'm surprised we didn't land a crit. What was that? Four stone edges? Three or four stone edges, and we didn't crit on one of them, and they have a higher crit chance. But it's all good. That was definitely a very good match. Here's one last look at the team. If you would like to use it for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen. If you do use it, let me know how you do in the comment section down below. I love this curse law. I really did. I love the parish body on it. I love the choice facts. I love everything about it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Also, guys, if you guys have rental codes, leave them in the comment section down below. I would love to use your guys' team. Make it easy for me. Tell me if it's a singles or doubles team. Leave me a list of the Pokemon, and if you have an EB spread, send that with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.